Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this November 14th. We're starting out a little chillier this morning. Some upper 30s, low 40s across the area. Partly cloudy skies. High pressure, though, in control. And it looks like it's going to be a fine day. Mix of sun and clouds. Rain-free. That changes tomorrow, though. And we have a couple of systems down the pike that are of interest because uh, they look to be fairly strong systems and they will occur um, in a shape and fashion to where it could affect your Thanksgiving holiday or at least travel, busiest time of the year for travel. More on that in just a second. 52 was the official high temperature yesterday in Bowling Green at the airport at 2 p.m. thanks to the clouds opening up. And I said if uh, we did scour out some clouds before the end of the day, then we would warm up uh, past our high temperature, and it did. So 52, officially that's 9 degrees, though, cooler than the average of 61 35 was the low temperature. That's 3 degrees cooler than the average of 38. One year ago, we had a high of 64 and a low of 28 back in 2016. And then uh, we had no precipitation yesterday at all. For today, I'm going to call it uh, partly cloudy, mix of sun and clouds. Warmer, 56 with an east wind at 6. Tonight, partly cloudy, chilly, down to 38. For Wednesday, here comes the first disturbance that will just bring us rain. And we're talking about a general light to sometimes moderate rain. It's not going to be thunderstorms or anything like that. The rain chance at 70% and we'll get up to 58. That cold front passes and so we will see a mostly sunny Thursday with a high at 56 and then as a warm front moves in ahead of the next cold front we're going to zoom all the way up to 65 warm and windy on Friday mainly dried through much of the day but into Friday night showers and thunderstorms will come in and those will continue into early Saturday morning Some of those could be strong to possibly severe. It all depends on um, how much uh, daytime heating we can get factored in there, enough instability. Uh, The dynamics are there as far as wind. There's going to be a lot of wind regardless of whether we get severe weather or not. Uh, Wind gust of 15 to 30 both Friday into Saturday. And Saturday, we're calling for a high of 62, but that would be early. And as the cold front comes through, temperatures will fall down to 32. By Saturday night, here comes another cold snap. By Sunday, clearing and 47, sunny and 50. Monday, and uh, looking long term into Thanksgiving week, next week. <laughs> Can you believe it? Next week, we are looking at another very potent system to move in Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, and Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, that looks to bring us a cold rain. And um, not that far away, maybe some snow up along the Ohio River. Too soon to say just how much or you know, how big a deal this is going to be, but it is already a system that we're watching into next week because of the Thanksgiving holiday and Black Friday and all of that. Interesting weather we're about to have here for a few weeks, it appears. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. Thanks for listening as always. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com and your Alexa device. Later today, if you get a chance, check out my radio show at Classic Hits 
Sam 100.7 between 3 and 7 p.m. And streaming live to BowlingGreenSam.com.